everybody, welcome to your weekly messages for the 27th of March until, oh, is it the 2nd of April? 3rd of April? We are moving into April, wow. Um, I have been moving around, I will be uploading the monthly April reading this week, I promise. Um, I'm feeling much, much better. The um, the lack of sleep was really quite intense for me. There was a lot going on, obviously. Um, and I mean on a kind of, uh, you know, outside of my, um, my, my conscious awareness. Um, I was just aware of the fact that, that sleep was just not, 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 um, not a priority for, for me and in, in, in my life. Um, but, and it was impacting me, but it is, it is shifting now. Um, and when I was, and have been extremely fatigued, it's just difficult for me to able to put the amount of focus and energy into, um, in these readings, especially the long ones, especially the monthly ones. And also everything happens in its time. And I really do have to allow these messages to move through me when they, when, as and when they, they can, and they do. Um, so, um, that I'm hoping that you are, you are really enjoying these weeklies. I, I, I appreciate you here massively. I love sharing this space and time with you. I love recording this for you. I love, I love this. So thank you. This is the masculine feminine spread, um, for the week available over on Vimeo. Um, a message really this week about how there is, we are in union and you are in union. <laughs> you are. And this week really is about how, how, how can you realize that? Why are you not realizing that if you're not realizing it? Because if you're here with me here, I promise you it's here. So that's that for this week. New stone. And a, and a really beautiful message about community. Really beautiful. I know this is what you want to. I know this isn't just about you. You know that too. It's about love. It's about others. It's about generosity. All right. Enough chatter. And here we go with the roomy card for this week. I'm really enjoying this little shuffle around. Woo! <laughs> Sorry, very light, very playful, kind of fairy-like energy. Little playful, child-like innocence going on this morning. Beautiful. Okay, so it's this one. It is again. Okay, right. Okay, people. I gave it a big. I get you saw that shuffle. We have the same card. We have the same card as last week. And I knew this was a message, but we need to reiterate it. You need to hear this again. If you have not experienced and you do not believe that you are united with your lover this it, you are please listen and watch these readings because you are and it's all about your conscious realization of it i promise it's come up again again also those that didn't realize a union last week they're gonna you're gonna realize it this week And it's a softer energy this week. It's different. Let's read this again. It's coming at you again, my people. I want you to close your eyes and really let this wash through you. I promise you this is the truth. This is your truth. Hear it, know it, love it, be it. Number 19, Sacred Union. Here we go. Only the oneness of love and the lover is eternal. Surrender your heart into this union 
for all else in this world is momentary. Stupefied with bliss, I become without thought. There is no grief in that loss. I gladly surrender my intelligence in favour of this mindlessness. It is ecstasy, rapture. The sweetness of the union, so sacred, overwhelms my senses. The lover and the beloved are my world. Nothing else exists except this love, this unity of divine masculine and feminine, and the fresh new universe that shall be born from their sacred conjoining. It happens even now, between my body and my spirit, and in yours, and in his over there, and that woman passing by. All creation is sacred, rapturous embrace, so shocking and wild, this frenzy of loving delight without limits. Let us be swept away, my beloved, in the passionate loving that renders duality into one and tips the mind into empty ecstasy. I'm just going to stop there and just deliver this to you. Really, really listen to these words. It's why they are being reiterated for you. Allow yourself to hear. Give yourself the ears to hear. And life will reveal to you everything you have ever wanted. You lucky, lucky angel. You are to be blessed with sacred union. This union is of the lover and the beloved, the masculine and the feminine. That which appears to be opposite will no longer appear to be so. There is a coming together that is destined and divine. You are to be swept up in a wave of such love. This oracle comes to you as a portent, a sign of that which is, which is to come and also as a confirmation of your spiritual journey thus far. You have been working to integrate masculine and feminine energies within. Oh, perhaps you have not used those words, but you have been attempting to find the balance between living a surrendered life and living from the heart, and then knowing when to take the initiative to set something in motion, when to put your body, mind and soul into getting your shoulder behind something to push. You have been working hard, so surrender attachment to plans and how you think things should go. Instead, you have intended to show it, show it up for what it is, to seek out the genius of life through unconditional acceptance instead of judging and fearing, resisting what is, as though it were a big mistake, perhaps caused by ignorance within. No, you do not seek to hide from love anymore. You have been learning, step by step, how to embrace it and allow it to embrace you. What a journey you are taking, you lucky, lucky angel. You beautiful, lucky angel. So, your confirmation is thus. You are growing. You are evolving. You are making genuine shifts in consciousness that are allowing you to change the the way you are in the world, to become freer, more loving, wilder, more divine. The divine has been seducing you with love and beauty, and now, in your surrendered state, you are seducing the divine. You are calling such passionate devotion to your cause, such clever and capable assistance, such graceful intervention. The divine cannot resist your beauty. So keep going with that sacred surrender. Keep believing in the inner healing path you are travelling with such success. Accept this confirmation and acknowledgement close to your heart and keep travelling along your path of love. Keep this knowledge in your heart. You are meeting your beloved. What could be more exciting? The sign coming to you with this oracle is that of great love bestowed by the hand of grace. What this means is there is a destiny at play in matters of the heart. There is heart healing and a letting go of past obstructions, suffering or misunderstandings. You could say in a way that the great cosmic matchmaker has taken up your cause. If you are already in a relationship, expect that there will be healing of that relationship in whatever way needed. You may have no sense of how it is going to play out. 
It may result in a deepening of commitment to your lover, but it will certainly result in a deepening of your own commitment to love. It will certainly result in a deepening of your own commitment to love. If you are open to attracting a new and significant relationship into your life, perhaps a life partner, soul friend or other supporter of your life journey, then the divine is hearing your call and is answering. Let go of your grip. Do not hold on to a particular person, to a particular fear or fantasy. Instead, open your arms as if expecting your lover to run straight into them. For what could be more perfect than the, divine sanction, the divinely sanctioned relationship entering into your life? It will move you. It is likely through romance, but it could be through soul-satisfying partnership, the soul for whom you have been waiting so your life path and heart-inspired work can continue to develop. It could be through the presence of a child or even a coming together of your own inner masculine and feminine so that you have finally a clear sense of your purpose in life and the means through which to take action on it, even if that action is to surrender yet again. This oracle also comes with a particular piece of guidance for you. No matter what has been, what has succeeded and what has appeared to fail, what has been loved and what has been lost, there is only one truth that will prevail in your life without failure, without exception, and that is love. If, if you are truly, it is all you are truly seeking and it is behind every life experience seeking you. Do not stand back from it. Do not put yourself aside. Turn down your eyes and pretend you cannot be seen by the world. Be bold. Claim the love that is your divine birthright and know that sacred union is yours, destined in the heavens and blessed by the great beloved. Place one hand on your heart and the other outstretched before you, as if to place it on the heart of another or on the heart of your love. Say after me, through the grace of Rumi, who loves me unconditionally, I call upon my true beloved now to be at one with my heart purpose. Through divine grace, our sacred union is now sanctioned and blessed. The love in my life swells to overflowing and I do not try to contain it. I am satisfied to be washed away in bliss And I serve the great beloved in this divine romance. Offering my heart to the one great love through which all other love emanates. I am love. I am united, heaven and earth. conjoined in passionate devotion to the Great Beloved. Love fills my life in all the ways I need and I am graced by divine blessing so rich. Thank you. So be it. Place both, place both hands on your heart and rest. When it feels good for you, open your eyes, place your hands in prayer position briefly and then on your head.
and a peace has descended. There has been a lot of noise around, um, an incredible amount of noise around <laughs> whilst I was trying to record and beginning to record and it has appeased because this is a powerful, powerful love and um, that is the impact that it has upon us and the world. This is about us living peacefully together. If you are not aware of union occurring in your life, it is happening. It's just about opening your eyes. Do take a look at the Vimeo reading to, to see how the masculine and feminine energies are playing out. And um, maybe re-listen to that, that sacred union card. It's come up twice. It's here for, for you. If you're here, it's here for you. I promise. I love you lots. Um, my love with you. Peace to you. Fire, passion, devotion, freedom. All of those things to you. I'm going to say namaste. And I don't often use that word, but it's been around this week for me. My soul sees and honors your soul. All right then, I'll see you again next week. Thank you, I love you.